I am working this week with a stencil that was created by Sharon over at Texture Junkies. It was produced by PM Artist Studio. And you can find PM Artist Studio stencils for sale by going to their website at pmartiststudio.com. So I hope you will pop over there and purchase some of these stencils that I have used. I love the Scottish stencil by Sharon. You can get a 10% discount on orders $35 or more by using the code PEGFAN. 10. I call my channel Two Old Crows Mixed Media. This week we will be working, as I said before, with a goddess stencil produced by PM Artist Studio. Here is a look at each of her goddesses. <clears throat> there are four of them in this set. And I thought this would be a great stencil to use with all of the leftover gel press prints I have from my previous weeks of playing with stencils by Miriam Wolf, by um, Devin Rex for Art, by Christy Hartman. So I've pulled all of those leftover pre prints from my gel press out and I am drawing around the outside edge of these blank CDs. Now, I've been carrying these blank CDs around for years. And at one particular time, I used to copy music onto them, and there were all kinds of things that I used a CD for. But in today's world, it's kind of a kind of like the 8-track tape. So they are no longer needed, and I have some left over that I thought now was as good a time as any to use them, and I'm using them in the application as my background for this application is what I meant to say. So I have all the circles cut out. I will pop them into a die and run them through my Big Shot and we'll create some texture on each of those sheets of paper. And I've just picked some random dies and I'm doing different ones. And I don't know if you can truly see the texture here, but it does provide a very nice um, embossed piece of paper. And I always run mine through once and then I back it back out and run it through again. I'm trying to show you how it turned out, but I just don't know that it's actually something that visually you can see in this format. So we'll get all of these run through and then we will come back and decorate them up just a little bit more. Okay, so here we, here we have them all. And you can hopefully see the embossing on each of these. And I thought that this really created some interest because they're a nice print in the background and then that embossing created yet something different. So to pull that embossing out, I've pulled a fern green stamp pad and I'm just lightly going over the top of that to reveal that embossing on top of the image that is underneath. So I now have gone over all of them. I think they've turned out to be some great looking prints. I'm happy with them anyway. And now I need to get them down on the CD. And I'm not just going to be boring and put one print down or one um, circle down on one CD. I'm going to cut this into fours and piece these together, patchwork kind of 
together on top of that CD and just create even a little more of an interesting background. Then I have this stencil that I'm going to lay right on the top of that. So I'll pull my glue and water mixture out. I make my own Mod Podge, if you will. I'll link my recipe up above if you want to take a look at that recipe. It is very simple to make. I think in this video that I've shown up here, there's also a recipe for texture paste and a recipe for gesso. I do predominantly use store-bought gesso, but I have never bought texture paste. I always make my own. So I have that down with that glue and water mixture. I went on the CD, put it down, went over the top of it, and I will do each, I'm making four, one for each goddess. And now I have them all complete. I'm going to flip them over and pull out, they're dry now, so I'll flip them over and pour out four more little circles. And I'm going to cut those in a different orientation. I think I'm just going to cut right up in straight lines here. Try to keep all of that together so that when I shuffle them, they're shuffled with the right size. And now I'll get the glue out once again, and we'll do the back of each one of these in this different format. As I'm making things and as I'm, I'm doing things, I, this shop is relatively new to me. I've only been moved in here for a little less than a year now. So I'm always trying to think of things that I can utilize to kind of decorate the porch of my shop, the inside of my shop, and to make it just a little more interesting space to work. And as I come up with things, I, I like to install them. So that's what you saw at the very beginning of this video was the installation of this little um, finished piece that is going to hang and blow in the wind out by my wind chimes. And it's kind of fun because when it touches my wind chimes, it kind of activates my wind chimes too. Just going around the outside edge with that black, or not black, vintage photo. And now I'll come back with the black. And now I want to, we finally are getting to the stencil that once again was created by Sharon over at Texture Junkies, her goddesses. And I am going to use the mask and put down the gold. I'm using a golden iridescent fine gold. And I think the goddess should be gold, don't you? And now I will put the stencil down. And I've squeezed out some Prussian blue. And I'm just tapping it in with a cosmetic sponge. So there is my goddess, and it looks like I missed a little area of the Prussian blue, so let me just get that laid down, and there we go. 
the goddess is now laid down on the CD that is the background of the stencils combination of Miriam Wolf and her stencil, Happy Stream, Devon Rex for Art, and her stencils, Wonky O's, and Christy Hartman's Sunflower stencils. So you are seeing four of the stencils in this particular project, and then Sharon's stencil was used as the foreground of everything. I'm now going around the outside edge of it with a black charcoal marker or a graphite marker. Just smudging that out to give her a little more definition. So while we're here, a big thank you to the four ladies that have provided the wonderful stencils that I'm utilizing for this project. And again, you can pick those up over at PM Artist Studio with the code for a 10% discount on any order over $35. Just type in PEG, P-E-G, FAN, F-A-N, PEG, FAN 10, and you'll receive that 10% discount. So now that I have all of the ladies stenciled onto my CDs, I am putting some adhesive to lay down the gold foil on the other side. And this is probably one of the most challenging things for me. I watch people do it and they make it look so easy. Yet I find it a very challenging medium. It sticks to my fingers and never really goes on the way I want it to. Um, but what I am going to do here is get it adhered as best I possibly can and then go back over it with a baby wipe to kind of remove the areas that I don't want and keep the areas that I do. So now I have everything decorated. I have the back with the gold foil, the front with the gold goddess. And now I want to make this so I can hang it. So I want to poke a hole in the top and the bottom of each. And I am going to try to do that with my crocodile and see if my crocodile will go through. If not, I'll take it over to my drill press and drill a hole through. But I think the crocodile is going to work. So I want to hang it in this vertical orientation so that I have goddess, the background, and then the goddess in the background so that there's goddesses on both sides. I've poked the hole. The crocodile did work. I poked the hole through the top and the bottom. I came back with a Krylon triple thick crystal clear glaze on those to protect them from the weather. And now I have some 20 gauge copper wire that I am going to create the piece to hang. I've pulled um, just some pearls, pearl beads, and some small little um, multicolored beads to put around the pearls that I'm also going to string on this. Some seed beads, if you will. A little larger than a seed bead. So we'll get those strung up. I put the circle on the top or the loop on the top and connected it by wrapping it around. Now I'm putting the beads on. And then trim off the little tail of that copper that was hanging out there. And now give it another twist. And just twisting the wire around this, these round nose pliers. And I'm holding it with my just straight pliers and twisting that wire around to secure it. And 
and there. And I will do that between each one. I will hook one CD to the other by creating two loops in the wire, putting a couple of beads in between, and then we will have a piece that we can hang out on the porch. So I'm just cutting about six inches of wire, creating that initial loop and running that through the bottom hole. And then I will take that extra wire and twist it around to close that loop off. Just holding it with my pliers to start that twist. Getting out my little seed beads. So I'll put a seed bead, then the pearl, and then another seed bead. So that there's not a tremendous amount of space between the two, but a definite, you know, gap there so that they can kind of blow freely in the wind. And now we'll put the second CD to the first and twist that wire around to close that loop. And there, we have the start of our little display piece that will blow in the wind out on the deck or the little porch of my workshop. And I hope you have enjoyed this. Let me just kind of show you what I have here. And I love the shine that that um, triple thick, it's called Krylon, it's in a spray triple thick crystal clear glaze. It has a bright glass-like coating and a very high gloss finish. And it's good for, um, it's a non-firing glaze for bis, plaster, and more. And I used it to um, kind of protect my paper as I am putting these outside. So, I wanted something that I knew would, would protect it. So this is kind of a finished, a look at the finished piece. And then I will go into, flip it over, show you the back side of it. And then we'll go into a little photo montage so you can get some close up look as well. Oh, I did add a couple of little leaf charms here at the bottom. So here is the close-up of the finished piece. I hope you have enjoyed this. I hope you're enjoying following along with my, what I call my coffee cup prompts. And I'll put the coffee cup prompt playlist at the very end. If you would like to pop over to my Facebook group and join us in Two Old Crows Mixed Media, I do post the video over there first, um, so everyone knows when I have put it uh, live online. And also we do a swap every month, and this month we're swapping ATCs. So come on over and join us. And I thank you for being here. I hope you'll subscribe, like my video to help me out, and hit that notification bell so you'll know when I upload additional content. Bye for now.